this is really awkward because my family are probably listening. Hey guys, it's Esme from The Six Pack and as you can probably see, this is a brand new channel. As you know, um, 2014 is upon us. So yeah, basically I'm just going to recap on 2013 and do a 2013 favourites. The first CD that is in my 2013 favourites is Don't Panic, It's Longer Now by All Time Low. Now, I have been a fan of All Time Low for, what, three and a half years maybe? Um, so when this came out I was really excited and I had it illegally at first because I couldn't afford to buy it. Um, but I've got it now and it's really good and yeah. Okay, my second CD is Sim Paternal by Bring Me The Horizon. Um, now, this is probably one of my favourite Bring Me The Horizon CDs, um, just the fact that it's not as heavy as their first couple of ones. But that's Ollie's fault because he's practically ruined his vocal cords. Another album I liked was Midnight Memories by One Direction. I have it here. I didn't buy this one on iTunes. My sister got me it for Christmas. Um, I have a really varied music taste, as you can probably tell, but this is probably my favourite One Direction album so far, due to the fact that it's a little bit more rocky. The next CD that I liked was Love, Lust, Faith and Dreams. I think that I got that in the right order. And it's by 30 Seconds to Mars. Now, this is probably one of my favourite bands. I love them. I saw them live in November and they were so good. And this is such a good album. It's, I highly recommend it. Next two albums that are my favourite, well, that are in my favourites, are Surfer's Paradise and The Acoustic Sessions by Cody Simpson. So I have been a fan of Cody for three years. I have loved him and supported him for that long. And I saw him live in February as well. And he is one of my complete favourite artists. I love him so much and, well, his albums are so summery. And the last album that I have in my favourites is Save Rock and Roll by Fall Out Boy. Now, I know most of you... Now, I know most of you are probably Fall Out Boy fans considering, well, they've been around for a really long time. And you might be thinking, oh, she's such a super rock and roll fan, but I'm not. I love all their old music, I um, and I love this album as well. And I was just really happy when they brought out something new. My all-time favorite movie of the whole year has got to be Catching Fire. I absolutely love this. I waited a year and a half for it to come out, and um, worth the wait. Completely worth the wait. Panic. Okay, my next favourite film would be This Is Us by One Direction and it was mainly because it brought me right back to the concert because um, it had all the performances and things and I thought it was really good to get an insight um, in their lives and how things are. My next one is Silver Linings Playbook. Now, come on, if you've not seen this, you need to get it because it is brilliant. I absolutely love it. Okay, my second to last film of the year is Cyberbully. Now, you may be thinking, oh, Cyberbully came out ages ago, but it's really, it's one of these films that really affected me in a way. Genuinely one of my favourites. Um, even though it is only a TV movie and it never came out in theatres, I think it is absolutely amazing. And the last one is a complete Disney classic, Frozen. Now, also, if you haven't seen this and you looked at it and thought, oh, it's babyish, it's really bad and things, no. You need to go and see this in the cinema because it is an absolute classic. It's so funny and the songs are amazing. So this year, I started um, a few TV programmes that have already been out for at least a year or two for each one. Uh, so my first one is uh, Supernatural. Now, Supernatural, what do I say about this? I'm only on season two on that, and there's nine seasons. I need to try and finish Supernatural by the end of this year because, well, it's fair to say that I'm really far behind everyone else. <laughs> and the next one is Sherlock. I didn't wait the two and a half years like everyone else who had originally seen Sherlock, but I just started watching it a few weeks ago, and it is amazing. It's so funny. I love Benedict Cumberbatch anyway. He is got to be one of my favourite actors around, so, you know. And my last one is Once Upon a Time. 
Now, Once Upon a Time is the fairy tale one. It's when, you know, characters from the story are put into the real world, and I think it is so good. It's really cleverly done, and I love all the characters and stuff. Stuff I still have to catch up on that as well, um, but so far I think it's brilliant. Now, this year was the year that Divergent series took over my life. Um, I read Divergent, well I started reading Divergent in March this year, um, but I couldn't really get into it. But then and my friend Jen, who is also on this channel, told me that I need to, need to stick at it because she had read it, she couldn't get into it, but then she got really into it and now I am completely obsessed with it. So when Allegiant came out, and I thought it was going to be brilliant and amazing and it was everything I lived up to, except for the end which ruined my life. Okay, so the next book has been out for two years and I've been putting off reading this because I was too scared. I was scared that I was gonna, what, cry far too much and I was just, I don't know. But, um, I read it anyway and it was completely worth it. And this book is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Now, if you're like me and I've been putting off reading this, I suggest you read it before you go see the film. And my last book of the year is Finale by Be Becca Fitzpatrick. Now, it's part of the Hush Hush series and it came out in October last year. Um, but since I didn't do a favourites last year and I've read it, what, three times since, um, I thought I'd better mention it. Um, I started reading the Hush Hush saga when Hush Hush came out, you know, and I've been with the books since they were being published and it is... An amazing series and I suggest you read that as well. Now there's only a couple of perfumes but I felt they were needing mentioned because they're so good and they smell so nice. My first one is Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. Now some of it you may find this a bit strong um, but I really like it. My next one is Our Moment by One Direction. This is also a really really nice perfume and it smells so good and it lasts all day. Uh, for some of you it might be a bit sweet because um, I know that's what my mum doesn't like about it but I think it's a really really nice perfume. Uh, this last perfume, this is my all time favourite perfume and it's needing mentioned, um, is Dot by Marc Jacobs. Now I've been wanting to buy this for so long but I've never had enough money and when I did I was a bit stingy and I didn't want to buy it. But um, I got it for my Christmas and I wear it all the time and it smells so good and yeah, just buy it, okay? So my first what, thing that I feel like I should mention is has been my lifesaver for the past six months. That is Pseudocream. Now, I don't have nappy brush or whatever this is actually used for, um, but it helps clean up spots. When you put it on, it completely just dries it out and the spot goes away within a couple of days and it works so well and I like it a lot. Okay, my next one is the Nivea Pure and Natural Moisturiser. Now, I've had this three months and I've almost used it all up because I get really dry skin at this time of the year, um, but it works really well. I put it on my face and it makes my face feel nice all day and it, it's not greasy, so you can put on your makeup on top of it and it's really nice. My next lifesaver of the year is Vaseline. Now, I'm not gonna open this because it's full of other lip balms and um but um the vaseline has really helped me because my lips are really really dry right now i've got to constantly have chapstick or vaseline and things with me um so i've just been using that and they're really good as i mentioned like 30 seconds ago um i have really dry skin so the next thing i'm showing you is my body butters from yours truly now these smell absolutely amazing and they keep my skin so soft and um, this one is smells of vanilla and this one is shea butter and sweet almond oil and this one's my favorite one because i'm not massively keen on the smell of vanilla the next thing i got for my christmas and i had never heard of them before but it's the me makeup collection i've got the massive palette and i've got the highlighter and things but this is your my brushes and you get brushes and there's a wee one that you carry around every day and they're really good um I, i've got a wee leaflet as well it tells you how to apply things if you don't know 
which I need help with because I suck at putting my makeup on. Uh, my next thing is something I use almost every day if I'm going out somewhere and that is the Nude BB Cream from L'Oreal. <coughs> now this doesn't go on too heavy, it's really light um, and it covers your face and when it comes out it looks like it's like a white kind of grey liquid but when you put it on it goes to your skin tone. Obviously you need to get like a light and a dark one and a medium one but it just disappears. Okay my next thing is the brow drama from Maybelline. Um, this really works, um, it helps me a lot because my eyebrows get a bit out of control sometimes. I'm sticking up everywhere because they're really bushy um, but this keeps them in place all day. Um, my next favourite is the Power Pow lipstick from MUA and this goes on, it's like a, it's like a crayon and it goes on really well, it stays on really well um, and it can last you a few hours and it smells of mint. Yeah, that's this one. And it smells of mint so, and it tastes good. <sighs> okay. I'm not very good at this at all. Now the next thing is a real lifesaver. This is my, oh, hold on, right, I've got the name written down here because my label has completely come off. This is the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. And, um, well, basically yeah, is what it says on the bottle. It's like a little brush and you just put it on. I don't have any on just now. I should really be wearing some, but um, I don't have any on just now. And it lasts you know, all day and it's not clumpy, it doesn't feel greasy and it's really good. It's the best concealer I've bought. And the last thing is my Batiste Dry Shampoo. Now, I don't use this too much because I'm one of these people that if I don't dry my hair, wash my hair every day, then I will feel really icky. Um, but when I do use it, it really works. It makes it feel less greasy throughout the day and things. And yeah, it's worth the buy. Yeah, so my first favorite is probably the iPhone 5 I got for my birthday. Um, I was suffering with an iPhone 3GS for what, a year and I'd managed to have it replaced three or four times because I'm not very good at keeping my phones. But my iPhone 5 is my baby. I love it to death and I'm currently filming on it because my camera is rubbish. <laughs> the next uh, thing is probably my school trip to Falkirk. Now the actual trip was rubbish but <laughs> the bus that to and from was, well, hilarious. Um, yeah, the next thing is Oliver. Now, we did a school production of Oliver and usually I would put myself forward for these things, but I was in first year and I didn't know anyone, so I was a bit kind of, I don't want to do this. Um, so I didn't put myself forward for it. So now, um, so I, then I signed up for backstage. I, so I did that from November and it was probably like the best three weeks of my life. It was so fun. I made so many new friends, met so many new people and it was really good. My next thing I want to talk about is my concerts. Now I've been to quite a few concerts this year. I went to see Little Mix, Cody Simpson, The X Factor Live Tour, One Direction, District 3, The Janowskians, 30 Seconds to Mars and Uni at 6. So I've been to eight concerts. I am um, they were all equally as good as each other. I, um, I, I also saw Five Seconds of Summer. They were One Direction support act, obviously, but I had been a fan of them for, what, six to eight months beforehand. So it was really good. And that is going to bring me on to my hug from Ashton Irwin. I met him at the One Direction concert. He was walking up the aisle and I had an aisle seat and he was going to watch the concert. And Callum walked past me and I was like, he looks familiar, but before I could even know who it was, he was gone. But Ash, I saw Ashton, and I kind of shouted over to him. I was like, Ash, hi, I really like your band. You guys were awesome. And he's like, oh, thank you so much. And he gave me a hug. Best day of my life. Also, another thing that happened this year was I went on a school trip to Austria, and we went skiing for a week. Um, we drove in the bus to and from for 36 hours each way. And um, 
that was also one of the best weeks of my life. Um, I made so many new friends. Um, oh, what I would do to go back and just re rewind and go back to Austria, I would, oh, oh, I don't even know. My next thing is a bracelet my dad got me from Malawi. He was in Man Malawi for a week. Um, he's sells medical equipment, so his job took him over there. And um, he brought me that back. And I'm really jealous of the fact that he was over in Malawi because I really want to do that when I'm older. But he brought me that back. And I can't wear it anymore because it's a bit, you know, frayed at the end. And it goes, it's meant to go through that loop, so it's not really possible. But, you know, I still keep it. It's landed in my tea. Okay. My second to last thing is something my friend got me. Um, she is moving school. Uh, well, she starts the new school in a few days and I'm going to miss her a lot even though she still lives around the corner from me. It's not going to be the same. Um, it's a little angel with love hearts and inside it says, good friends are like angels, you don't have to see them to know that they are there. And I thought that was really sweet of her and yeah, I'm going to miss her so much. And the last thing I want to talk about is Michael Clifford's hair. Now, if you don't know who Michael Clifford is, he's in Five Cents of Summer and I know I've mentioned them a few times but I, I like them. A lot. Um, he has changed his hair so many times. It's like, well, when the day I'm filming this, it's the anniversary of when he first dyed his hair, and it's been blue, pink, um, candy floss pink, skunk, brown, blue highlights. It's been everything, and yeah, it's pretty awesome to be quite honest. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm sorry this video is so long. I hope I didn't bore you to death halfway through it. Um, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I shall see you all next Monday. Bye!